Hi everyone, welcome back to Kristen's Epic Adventures. Today, we're gonna go over some accessories that you can use in your D&D game. Essentially, some of the spell cards and the magic item cards. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our new videos are up. And if you found this content helpful, give us a like so more friends can find us. So today, we're gonna be talking about the arcane spellbook cards and the magic item cards specifically. Now these are decks of cards that are put out by Gale Force 9 to help you out with your game if you're playing a magic user. This arcane deck basically has all the spells for wizards, warlocks, and sorcerers all sorted out by level with descriptions on them. And the magic item cards is really just what it says, a deck of all the magic items that you can find in the Dungeon Master's Guide that you might find helpful as a Dungeon Master or as a player for when you get these items, you don't have to write down everything about them so you remember how they work. You can literally just have the card in front of you or in a folder or something, okay? Um, now, Gale Force 9 also puts out decks of cards specifically for the Bard, the Ranger, the Paladin, the Druid. Let's see, Bard, Ranger, Paladin, Druid, a missing one, because there's five other decks. Um, can't think of the other one. What's the other one? Someone let me know in the, in the um, comments down below. There is a, another deck. They also make the Taroka deck, which is a fortune telling deck if you're playing Curse of Strahd. This is very cool in the Curse of Strahd um, adventure that your PCs go and visit a fortune teller. And these are some really cool cards that you use to do the fortune telling. You can use a regular deck of cards, but this adds really another dimension to your game to have the, the really neat deck of um, cards that goes with, with the book. Now, these spell cards, there's so many of them in here. These are all the cards that you get in the arcane set. Now they're all in here sorted by level, right? Level zero uh, is your cantrips, okay? And it goes all the way up to ninth level spells, which is the highest, and they're also all in here alphabetically. There's even some blank ones in case you homebrew some spells. You can write your own up, which is pretty cool. Um, but has has everything in here. So like say this is the cantrip mending. So it has spell level zero on one side because it's a cantrip. And on the back, it tells you that it's a transmutation cantrip. The casting time is a minute. The range is touch. It has um, visual, uh, sorry, verbal, <laughs> not visual, verbal, semantic, and material components. And the duration is instantaneous. And then there's a description of the spell. So these cards are so handy if you don't, like me, have small enough handwriting to write all your spells in on your character sheet. Um, I mean, you can also like put your spells in like a Word document and print them or something, but I find these little cards are so handy to have uh, regarding your spells. So then there's also, wish I could remember that fifth, that fifth uh, class that has the spell cards. That's going to drive me crazy. Um, paladins, bards, druids, rangers. I forgot rangers, but now what's the other one I forgot? Clerics. Maybe I said rangers and I didn't say clerics. I don't remember. But those, those, those races, and I'm sorry, classes have specific decks. This deck, the arcane deck, is for wizards, sorcerers, and warlocks. Okay, that has all the spells from their spell list. Now, if you also have Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which does add additional spells for those classes that can cast spells, there's also a Xanathar's deck. Super handy. Now, our magic item cards, I believe these are also, when you get them, they're all alphabetical. Um, but again, so one side has a really cool picture of the item, okay? This is a sensor of controlling air elements. Cool picture on one side. And then it actually has the rarity 
on the other side, whether it is a common, uncommon, rare, etc., type of item, and then a description of the item and what it does. And this has 292 D&D &D magic items in it. Very handy to have for your game. And I just pulled this one out of the middle. So now it's not going to be alphabetical anymore. So I'll just tuck that right back in there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool too. There are also decks of cards for the monsters sorted by challenge rating. I believe one deck has challenge rating zero through five and the other one has six and up in it. So Gale Force 9 makes some really cool these decks that you can add to your game. Now, another thing I want to show you real quick too, which is by Ultra Pro, is these character folios. These are pretty cool. These are basically a little folder to keep your character in. They come with different scenes on the front. I think this one is actually like a tavern brawl <laughs> going on. People having a little bar fight there. But there's other covers. I'm not sure how many. I want to say these are around 10 bucks. Um, piece. I have seen them in the local game store as well as on Amazon. Uh, same with the cards. Always support your local game store first, but you can get them on Amazon. Um, and what this is, is almost, it's like a pretty much a pocket folder. You've got a pocket in the front to put anything you want. Then you've got all these sheets that are open on the top for you to put your character sheets in. There's quite a few too if you have additional. And then there's actually pages where you can put the cards. So that's pretty cool because you could put, if you have to happen to own any magic items or you want to put your spell cards in here, you can do that. And I think there's another couple just blank sheets in the back if you want to keep notes back there or maps or anything. And then there's another pocket in the back and a logo on the back. I thought these were pretty cool. These are nice and handy to um, keep all your character information all together in one. And I like the way it has the slots for the cards. These are like open on the side. And you can just slip the card right in there, which is pretty cool. So these are some really neat accessories that you can add to your game. I find them to be pretty handy because, again, I can't really write small enough to put all my spells on my character sheet or even like what the items do. So it's pretty neat to be able to have a card or as a DM to be able to hand out a card for the magic item and your players actually get to see an image of what it looks like instead of just trying to imagine it. Um, so that's about it. I wanted to let you guys know that these cards exist and they're a really cool accessory for your game. Please let me know in the uh, comments down below if you own these or if you ever used them, if you find them helpful or if you think you might go out and buy them. Okay, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our new videos are up. And if you found this content helpful, give us a thumbs up and a like so more friends can find us and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.